The Israeli military released video on Friday said to show Israeli troops operating in the Gaza Strip and the West Bank. The army said in a statement that forces are operating simultaneously on three fronts including Gaza, the West Bank and Lebanon. On Tuesday, Israel began a ground incursion into Lebanon against the Hezbollah militant group, while also conducting strikes in Gaza that killed dozens, including children. The Israeli military said nine soldiers have died in the conflict in southern Lebanon. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since the day after Hamas cross-border attack on October 7, 2023, which killed 1,200 Israelis and took 250 others hostage. Israel declared war on the Hamas militant group in the Gaza Strip in response. More than 41,000 Palestinians have been killed in the territory, and just over half the dead have been women and children, according to local health officials. Nearly 2,000 people have been killed in Lebanon since then, most of them since September 23, according to the Lebanese Health Ministry. Typhoon Krathen made landfall Thursday in the major port city of Kaohsiung, bringing torrential rains and fierce winds to southern and southeastern parts of Taiwan, according to weather authorities. Krathen made landfall in the industrial Siagang district of Kaohsiung around 12.40 p.m., the Central Weather Administration said. The typhoon packed maximum sustained winds of 126 km per hour near its center, with gusts of 162 km per hour. The typhoon is forecast to move slowly north and weaken into a tropical depression by Friday before it reaches the capital, Taipei. Kaohsiung earlier urged its residents to take cover from potentially disastrous winds. The slow-moving typhoon, which has been inching toward Taiwan at a speed of about 4 km per hour, doused eastern and southern parts of the island over the past five days, forcing thousands to evacuate from mountainous or low-lying areas. Schools and government offices have been shut around the island for two days, and all domestic flights have been cancelled. Gusts and heavy rains pelted the empty streets. Many residents woke up Thursday to mobile phone alerts urging them to take shelter from the potentially dangerous winds. The Weather Administration posted a Facebook message warning Kaohsiung and Pingdong County residents to not go outside when the eye of the storm passes above their area and the weather calms briefly because the winds and storms will pick up again afterward.